Bro, if you want to achieve the highest levels of success in the endeavors that you want to pursue, if you want to become the best version of yourself, the most high value man you can, the most optimal life you can live, then you need to become self-aware and you need to cut out cheap dopamine releasing activities. It's pretty, it's pretty obvious what those are. I'm sure you can very quickly find what those are in your life. Pornography, video games, which we'll talk on in a little bit because every time I mention video games in my videos on my main channel, it just strikes a chord with gamers and they get so defensive. So I'm going to harp on that a little extra in a little bit. Instagram is a big one. TikTok is huge. TikTok Bro, you just, just stop the mindlessly scrolling on TikTok. And, and people cope with TikTok too. They'll be like, oh, but my feed is uh, hyper adapted to me and it shows me just motivational, informational stuff and I'm learning. Okay, so you saw five, five TikToks out of the past 50 that made you go, oh, oh, that's interesting. You really think you remembered those? You may have learned a couple little things. You may have saved a couple things. You think that whatever that time spent on TikTok is more, was more well spent, more valuable than if you read a fucking book, listened to like an informational podcast, watched a tutorial, learned something from a course, met, just meditated. <laughs> like everyone copes. Even I do. I'm guilty of dopamine. Uh, I'm guilty of indulging in dopamine stuff here and there. Not nearly as much as I used to be because this is a journey and I'm becoming better. I'm, I'm going to the gym after this. Got a little bit of stim, but mainly just pumping here. And creatine. Jacked factory code can. I'm trying to think of other dopamine activity. Uh, music, actually. Music is one that people don't really think about, but if you're waking up, you got your nice speakers going, you're just playing music all day, singing, dancing, whatever. Your pre-workout music, your gym music, all day. That is a lot of dopamine. That is a lot of stimulation. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of input going on when you need to be processing and thinking about and focusing on certain things. So even music, which I know that'll trigger people because literally everyone likes and partakes in music for the most part. I'm actually, I'm, I've been weaning back on music and uh, being more strategic with the use for sure. So music, video games, social media, those are the main ones. And uh, here's, here's my beef with video game motherfuckers. Every time I mention it on, on like Kenny's Fit, I'll mention video games. Like even in my most recent video, I talked about when I got kind of relapsed and re-addicted into video games and porn and it messed up my mental health and blah, blah, blah. And people come to the comments. That's not that many, but these guys come in and they just try. They just cope so hard to defend video games. Like I'm trying to think of the things they say. Mostly like I've seen people say, I only play for one hour a day, two hours a day, or it's how I socialize with my friends, or it helps me unwind at the end of the day. Do the unwind at the end of the day fucking thing. Bro, that's just like, that's just like John Smith, who just got off his nine to five, cracking open a six pack and pounding a six pack of fucking cores because it helps him unwind after a hard day. Beer, it's still poison. It's poison for his body, just like video games is, for the most part, poison for your mind. It still trashes your dopamine. You're, you, you saying these little copes to defend it does not negate from the facts that it has a negative impact on you, that you're wasting time, that you could be doing something else. If, if playing video games is the only opportunity you get to socialize with your friends... Maybe those aren't the best friends to have. During, during the quarantine lockdown that I talked about in my recent video, Kenny's Fit, I was playing video games with my friends and it was dope. I, like, I haven't really talked to them much post-graduation and now I'm getting to play with them every day and talking to them. We're not having anything. We're not having any meaningful conversations. We're not making discoveries about ourselves and each other. We're not discussing 
future plans, ideas, entrepreneurship, whatever, productivity, self-improvement, whatever. No. We're talking a whole lot of BS and playing fucking these instant gratification dopamine loop video games. If that's all those friends are good for, you aren't, you aren't friends. Y'all are just like partners in this addiction. That's the reason, like the, the, the addiction is what unifies you. And if the, the addiction, if y'all, if one of you broke the addiction, the friendship doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> you don't need to be friends with them. Go watch my uh, eight steps for masculinity video on the main channel and watch the part at the end, the secret step number nine, where I talk about building your tribe. And it'll make you realize you need to become more aware of who you spend your time with, your friends. What's, uh, I'm trying to think what else they say in the comments. It's always video games. Like, because porn, I think for the most part, most men know, understand that porn is bad and there's the obvious evidence of how it affects you. I do get some people defending just straight masturbation though, which is like, bro, it's just, it's a slightly more nerfed version of the self-pleasure. Like, you know, you're just using your imagination. Yes, you're not uh, seeing a bunch of things, opening up 15 tabs, like whatever. It's, it's still just self-pleasure. And I still falter, you know. I still partake in music. Um, I'm getting in the, a better habit of saving music for certain things. So like my most intense leg day workouts, uh, like my exercises that I know are going to be super intense. What the fuck? I swear, God, I swear my neighbor, my upstairs neighbors just go to the floor and just go like all fucking day. Anyways, <laughs> I still will sometimes scroll on Instagram a little. I'll, I'll look on Instagram a little too long. I'll click that explore page, that dangerous explore page here and there. I'm getting a lot better though. I use it a lot less. I'm, I'm now getting to the point where I, I've been going a couple full days of not, not checking it once. But I'm, I'm fully aware and I fully understand that we're human and the way these things trigger our brains, it's very hard to counteract because it feels right to do these things because we're getting rewarded with chemicals. And we haven't, we haven't weaned off and like changed our dopamine baseline and learned how to get dopamine from the other more harder things yet. Well, I have to an extent. You probably have to, to an extent. I fully cut out video games though. I fell back into it last year when I started playing a lot of COD Mobile and I coped, I coped. There was like, granted, I, th it, this is a, an actually half decent excuse. Granted, back then I did not have nearly the level of goals that I have now. I'm a much, I would argue I'm just a much better guy in general now in terms of I'm just more of a man, I have better goals. I'm more driven towards my goals. However, I was still coping. I would play COD Mobile for hours, and then pr pretty soon that, uh, that, that shame and that guilt within me started hitting. So then I made, I made this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel used to be, I, I, I unlisted all the videos. This YouTube channel was a COD Mobile channel. I made a couple videos because I, I was like, oh, it's work now because I could turn this into a career. A lot, of, a lot of people say that. I get people that say, oh, it, it's still productive. Like, I'm going to be a, a famous gamer streamer or professional gamer. First of all, you should know if, you're gonna, if you have a chance of being a professional gamer or not which, with whatever game you play. If your skill level is not to a certain level and you're not committing 12-hour days to practicing and you're not don't go doing tournaments, getting on esports teams, whatever, be real with yourself. Same with streaming. If you're not doing any and everything and seeing success, then realize it's not worth it. Because even if you do find success, you're still finding success through a high dopamine release thing. However, since you're getting the success from it, I, I understand and it kind of, it, it, it excuses that activity. Anyways, enough about the video game stuff. What I want you to do is I want you to stop right here and I want you to envision, there's multiple, there's more than two paths, but mainly two paths to your, to your left is a very broad path. 
And that broad path has some little side lanes or whatever that could lead you to complete and utter life quality destruction. But most likely the broad path is going to lead you to maybe, best case, a pretty decent, pretty comfortable life. Somewhat, you know? I wouldn't say fully fulfilled unless your goals is just be somewhat comfortable. However, that, that path, you will never truly be the full ver version of yourself, the best version of yourself, most disciplined, most successful, most developed, most intelligent. No, no. If you go down that path, those, you, you are forgoing that, that realm of possibility and the probability of that happening. To your right is a more narrow path. However, this path leads to the best you. This path is the ultimate testament that you want the most out of life in terms of success, in terms of de development, discipline, true freedom. Because true freedom is having control over the urges, over these modern, these modern drugs, technological drugs that addict you. And the, the, the thing is, if you go down this narrow path, you have to do what I said in this video and forgo all the cheap, shitty dopamine. You have to constantly be trying to cut down on it, cut it out, be self-aware, do the harder stuff, meditate to make you more self-aware. I want you to decide. Because if you decide, if you, this is the thing that pisses me off, is it's not that people do these things, it's that they do these things and they come up with bullshit, cope excuses, straight copium excuses, and then they try to challenge me because I'm saying video games are bad and addicting and bad for your mental health. <laughs> if you will just, if these people that comment too, and they'll be like, yeah, I play video games for an hour a day. It's not optimal. I know I'm wasting time a little bit. I know I'm not being the best version of myself. However, I'm content with it. I'm happy with it. it, it it's better than six hours a day. And, they just, if, and you just admit it. You admit, oh, I, I just like to indulge in this too much. I don't have the control. I'm willing to uh, live the outcome of these vices. Okay. I respect, I respect that more because you're just being straight up. That's fine. We need people like that in the world. Not everyone can be, ugh, I'm trying not to be cringe about it. I was going to say not everyone can be a wolf. We need sheep, but that just, that's, that's kind of cringe. But you know what I'm saying? Not everyone can be Neo in Escape the Matrix. I haven't actually seen the movie, so I don't know if that's the right analogy. But if you just, if these people, I'm not saying you, because maybe you're deciding to go down the, the right lane, literally the right lane, which if you're deciding to go down it, you know what you have to do. Because if you, if you decide to indulge in whatever, left laners, whatever, there is no shame. I don't, I, that's fine. I'm not going to judge you. I'd only judge someone who like talks all this shit or copes and like lies to themselves. Then I'm like, bro, you're lying to yourself. You're coping. And I'm telling you this. I'm making videos like this to help you. The more I, personally, the more I have cut back on it, the better of a person I've become, the better my mental health. And I know that what I'm doing and the way I'm now managing my time, the more successful I'm going to be. The more money I'm going to wake, the more money I'm going to make, 
the more, if, if this matters to you, the more attractive I'm going to be to women to an extent, the more respect I'm going to garter from men, the more freedom I'm going to have, both in terms of freedom within myself, within my mind of control, of discipline, as well as actual freedom. Because you have to make, if you want true financial freedom, you have to make a certain amount of money to where most things that will affect most people, you can skirt around it. So just something to think about. Like I said, either way, it's your choice. You can live a solid life not doing these things. Or not, not, not doing these things, I guess. But it's mainly just the beef I have with copers and people that lie to themselves. Because they're coming into my comments section with their little comments full of cope. These copy comments. Copy coomer gamer comments. And they're putting it in my comments section. Which I don't mind until I realize, well, someone else who's trying to quit X is is going to see this and that might convince them to continue on their path of addiction, self-destruction and lead them to not becoming the best person. You're pulling them down. Or maybe not you. They are pulling them down. Also, for for those who made it far, made it far. For those who made it this far, Little, little secret I'm working I'm finally working on I mean I've written a good amount of it I'm going to be coming out with an entire fitness course this is kind of like my magnum opus in terms of the Christian in terms of the fitness part of self-improvement it's going to be all my knowledge everything from my journey all the stuff I'm going to research and like get everything that matters essentially so not just a little cookie cutter program a little cookie cutter meal plan. No, it's going to be a full course of training, nutrition, supplementation. I'm going to have bonus parts about mindset, rest and recovery, sleep. I'm going to have a bunch of documents of programs for like different goals, different splits, different days out of the week. And I'm pretty excited about it. So that was just my little reward for you for making this far. Reward for you for making this far. Dude. I got to drink the rest of this. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> Let me know what you think about that as well. But please drop a comment um, about what you think about this discussion in general. And that's it. That's, that's all I got. That's all I got. Bye-bye. <laughs>